Hi there, in today's lesson we're going to look at primary economic activity and we're going to look at the non-renewable uh, resource of energy, which is oil. But before I do that, just remind you to check out the website www.examvision.ie, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash examvision and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. So we're going to look at the primary economic activity and we're going to look at the non-renewable resource of energy, which is oil. So oil is non-renewable. So non-renewable means that, the, that it, it will eventually run out. And every time we use it, there's less of it remaining. Because oil is non-renewable resource, it is really, really important that we try to conserve oil the best we can because it will eventually run out. At the minute, in the world, we're using oil at too fast of a rate and it's going to run out faster than we will be able to deal with this because we're not changing over to alternative sources of energy fast enough. So as you can see from the, the picture, these are the countries with the largest oil reserves. You've got Nigeria, Libya, Saudi Arabia, a lot of the Middle East have the most amount of oil supply. Russia, Canada and Venezuela. However, the, the most of, of, of the world's oil supply is found in the Persian Gulf in the Middle East. So, as you can see from this uh, diagram, it says the historical oil prices. And it starts off in 1973 and it goes all the way to January 2009. So, the price per barrel in 1973 was just over $5. As you can see, this has increased over time because oil is actually running out. Because it's a non-renewable resource of energy, it is running out. So the more it runs out, the, the more of demand there is for oil, so the higher the price is going to be. So as you can see, in around 2003, it's when we really started to run out of oil and the price jumped up dramatically. In 2006, it was just over $60 a barrel, with a huge jump in 2008 going to $142 per barrel. There was a big decrease in January 2009, this because we found more oil. But since 2009, it's been increasing ever so, it's been increasing ever so slightly, and this will continue to increase as we, start to, as we run out of more and more oil. So one of the things we need to know is, what are the advantages of using oil? Okay, so the first point, at least the first one, is that it's a much cleaner fuel to burn than coal or gas. So it's a cleaner fuel to burn than coal or gas. Second point is that it produces a high degree of energy. So it produces a lot of energy. The third one, so the third advantage, is that it's very easy to transport um, and they transport oil through oil tankers or through pipelines so easy to transport and the fourth one the fourth advantage is that it provides the exporting country with a valuable source of income so in the Middle East particularly in uh, Saudi Arabia provides them a huge amount of money and income. So, you need to know a case study for, um, for oil production, and the case study we're going to look at is Saudi Arabia. The production of oil has transformed the economy of Saudi Arabia. The country once associated with deserts and nomadic tribes is now one of the world's leading producers of oil. So, they produce the most amount of oil in the world, produced in the whole world second bullet point will say that they changed economy into one of the wealthiest
countries in the world. So, with all this oil production, let me just change this. So with all the oil production in uh, Saudi Arabia, there's been many advantages for uh, Saudi Arabia's economy. The first thing is, um, it's transformed the economy into such a wealthy uh, country, one of the wealthiest countries in the world. So it's helped the economy to develop its, its health service. So health service in Saudi Arabia has increased dramatically because of all the money that they have from oil production. Uh, the second point is that their transport links have increased. So roads, rail, air, airports, ports have all increased because of the wealth and they can build better uh, infrastructure. Uh, and there's a much higher standard of living. Higher standard of living. So there's three advantages there. Now, however, there are some disadvantages um, and some negatives as well to go along with this. And one of the negatives are, and one of the negatives that is that despite all its enormous wealth, women do not enjoy equal rights to men. So they're not equal. To the men. So, as a result of poor nations such as Saudi Arabia transforming their economy from a poor country to one of the wealthiest countries in the world, it's no surprise that Ireland and many other countries have tried to search for oil off the coast of their countries and in their countries. If Ireland was to find uh, an oil deposit, it would transform the Irish economy. Um, however, we have not yet found any large deposits of oil uh, off the coast of Ireland. We did, however, find gas in Kinsale, and, that's been, and that gas has been used to supply Dublin and other major cities in Ireland. Gas was, al was also discovered in the, off the coast of Ireland because of all the exploration in the Corb gas field. However, there's been lots of controversy regarding uh, the Corb gas fields, whether the, the gas should be brought ashore or not. Um, you might ask, why do, are they doing so much exploration for oil? Well, there are many advantages of finding oil for Irish economy. And the first one would be employment. So if Ireland had to find a, a large deposit of oil, employment would increase because workers would be needed to work on the rigs and the service industry. Tax revenue would also increase. The second reason would be to reduce the dependency on foreign imports of oil. So reduce dependency the third and the third reason would be Ireland will become an exporter of oil, and this will lead to a huge increase in income into our economy. So that was the advantages of, of finding oil uh, in Ireland. What are the disadvantages of finding oil, oil in Ireland? Well, the first one would be pollution. Pollution uh, would be a much higher risk because uh, oil could leak from the rig and could damage our coastline and, and damage like the wildlife. If we get find more oil, then income because of oil might lead to an, um, an increase in the cost of living. It's an increase... And the cost of living, so house prices might increase, inflation might occur. And the last one is that these oil refineries have to be built. So it's going to be expensive to, to build these and it also might spoil the natural beauty of the region. Spoil the natural beauty of region. Okay, so that's the end of my tutorial on primary economic activities and looking at oil. 
Um, and we looked at two case studies, uh, Saudi Arabia, and then we looked at our own country, uh, Ireland. If you enjoyed the video, can you please share it, tell your friends, uh, like it, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.